The Gables Assisted Living is showing care, compassion, and comfort by honoring East Idaho survivors. I was told that I was never going to be able to walk again. They also kind of threw out there that I'd have a life expectancy of like 14. It's a diagnosis Cesar Ibanez wasn't expecting to hear, but when he learned he would be in a wheelchair every day for the rest of his life, the then 10-year-old made a decision. I'm my father in heaven, he's put me here for a reason and in this chair. Caesar has spinal muscular atrophy, a genetic disorder that is killing the motor neurons in his body that control voluntary muscles. He was supposed to be dead by age 14, then 18, then 25. But the now 32-year-old is about to finish his bachelor's degree at BYU-Idaho, and he has no plans of slowing down. After getting that, I want to get a PhD in biomedical engineering. And my ultimate hope is to open up my own lab. Because of his condition, Caesar is unable to take care of himself. So when he moved to Rexburg from Washington five years ago, he had to live in a facility. Then he met some guys at church who would change his life forever. First time I saw Caesar, I remember I looked over, I saw him, and he was there in his wheelchair, obviously. And I thought, I don't really have a lot of friends in wheelchairs. And I don't really know why, so I'm going to go talk to him. Jake Christensen hit it off with Caesar, and the two became instant friends. But Jake was bothered that his pal was living in a care center, so he approached his roommates and suggested that Caesar move in with them. I just kind of felt like that's what we should do. A lot of uh, close friends and relatives were saying, you know, Jake, you should do this. This is, is a huge commitment. I don't think you're, you're able to do this. Like... You, you have no idea what this is going to entail. And, and we didn't, obviously, but... <laughs> I was like, you're exactly right. <laughs> that commitment meant someone had to get up every morning and shower Caesar, get him dressed for school, feed him breakfast, and then at the end of the day, get him ready for bed, brush his teeth, tuck him in, and provide help throughout the night. This happened every single day for years, with Caesar's new roommates and other friends serving him with a smile. I, I can't imagine college without that experience. It was... It was something that had a huge impact on my life and realizing that I am, I am happiest when I'm helping others. Caesar's original roommates have all graduated, but he's still receiving help. At the moment, I'm only living with two guys. They've divided up the work between the, the, the two of them. And then I have other friends that live here in town that come. Caesar says his condition and circumstances have taught him to have faith in God that things will work out. He says his life is proof of that as he continues to beat the odds and survive one day at a time thanks to some eternal friends. He has done a great job emotionally of coming to terms with his situation and embracing it. But his mind is so strong and his spirit is so strong where he is a perfect example of what a survivor is. It has become my personal mission to, to be a, an example, a symbol of, of, of hope and a source of inspiration to others. In Rexburg, Nate Eaton, EastIdahoNews.com. The Gables Assisted Living is showing care, compassion, and comfort by honoring East Idaho survivors.